So today we're solving systems of equations when both of the equations are in standard form. Now in my previous video I showed you that when we have two equations in standard form what we want is for the x's or the y's to match up meaning the number in front of x is the same in both equations either both the same number and same sign or same number and different signs because then we can just either add the equations together and eliminate one of the variables or subtract the equations from each other and eliminate one of the variables. But notice on today's the x's don't match up and the y's also don't match up. So none of the x's and y's match up on our system of equations today. But what we're going to do is add one more step to what we're doing before and make one of the variables match up in the two equations. For example, if I look at these two equations here, look at my y's. Even though they are different, this one has positive 4y, this has negative 8y, I can multiply this first equation so that the y's do match up. All right. So if I take this first equation and I multiply it by 2, then this new equation is going to be 12x, because 6x times 2, plus 8y, because 4y times 2, equals 88, because 44 times 2. And all I'm doing is multiplying both sides of this, this equation by 2 to get this. But notice, once I've done that, now this second equation and this new equation, the y's match up. Here, I'm going to write it down. 7x minus 8y equals 26. So simply by multiplying that first equation by 2, now my y's match up. Now I can solve this system of equations using the elimination method. I'm going to add the two equations together. And when I do that, notice 8y and negative 8y will undo each other. But I'll end up getting 19x here. The equals drops down. And 88 plus 26 is 114. And I've completely eliminated the y's. Now I can solve for x. Okay? Divide both sides by 19. When I do that, the 19's undo each other. x equals, and this equals, 6. All right. Now that I've got my x, I can go back and find y. To find y, I'm just going to take the x value and put it back into one of my original equations. I'm going to pick the first one because it's a lot easier. So instead of 6 times x, I'm going to do 6 times what 6 is equal to. In this case, it's 6 plus 4y. Oops, wrong color. Plus 4y equals 44. So this is basically 36 plus 4y equals 44. All right. So to figure out y, I'm just going to minus 36 on both sides. I'm going to get 4y equals 8. And then divide both sides by 4. I get y equals 2. So now I found the solution to my system. x is 6. y is 2. All right. But the key to this problem really was making sure that either the x's or y's matched up. And by multiplying that first equation by 2, I accomplished that. All right? Let's see one more example. Let's do this one right here. OK. So we've got 9x plus 2y equals 51, 3x plus 7y equals 36. Now, one of the hardest parts about doing this is finding out what to multiply your equations by so that they do match up. All right? So. In this case, I'm not going to multiply my y's because there's nothing I can multiply 2 or 7 by so that they'll equal each other. But look at the 9 and the 3. This one's an easy multiplication problem because I can multiply this second equation by 3, and then my x's will match up. 3 times 3x is 9x. 3 times 7y is 21y. 3 times 36 is 108. All right. And now I'll take my first equation, and I'll just write it underneath. And look at that. See, my x's are all matched up, ready to go. 
Now in this situation, I've got positive 9x and another positive 9x. So I'm going to actually subtract my equations here because that will eliminate all of my x's because 9x minus 9x is no x's. 21 minus 2 is going to leave me with 19 y's and 108 minus 51 is 57. All right, divide both sides by 19 and I should get y y equals 3. Got it. All right. Now we can go back and solve for x. And again, you could choose either equation. I'm going to pick the second equation. Well, I'll pick the first equation. 9 times x plus 2 times the y value, and we just found that the y value was 3, has to equal 51. OK. So this is basically 9x plus 6 equals 51. So if I solve that, I should have it. Minus 6 on both sides. I get 9x equals 45. Divide both sides by 9. And I'm going to get x equals 5. So now I've got the solution to my system. x is 5. Where should I write it? I'll write it right here. x is 5, y is 3. There we go. Here, let's zoom out a little bit so you guys can see it. OK, so when you have a system of equations and not the x's and the y's, neither of them match up, what you can do is see if you can multiply one of the equations by a number so that they will match up. And then you can either add the equations to eliminate a variable or subtract the equations to eliminate a variable. All right, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math and I will see you next time.